สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I'm going to make pet yang. So pet is duck and yang is to roast. So this is basically Chinese roast duck, but done Thai style, which means that it comes with the most delicious gravy ever that you're gonna want to put on everything. Um, this is inspired by a popular dish at a hot pot restaurant chain in Thailand called MK Suki. If you live in Thailand and you've been there, you might have had Pet Yang at MK because it is super, super popular. Everybody orders it who go there. Um, but instead of doing a whole duck, we're just going to do duck breast. Makes it a lot more practical for home cooking. All right, let's get started. So I've got two duck breasts here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to trim the silver skin that's on the back side because that stuff, if you leave it on, it's quite chewy. It doesn't cook down. So here's what you do. I'm actually going to first remove the tender. So this is the tender, so the same as chicken tender, but duck has a chewy connective tissue right here that runs through it. So I'm just going to remove it. I'll still cook it up and snack on it, but I don't want to leave it on the breast. I'm using a boning knife. You can use a small paring knife, something with a, with a pointy tip, and you just try to get under and get out as much of it as you can without sacrificing the meat. There we go. Then also on this side, you see some silver skin there. Now there is some silver skin that actually runs into the meat. Nothing you can do about that. So you can like, I usually find a couple pieces that's a bit chewy, but you know, what you're gonna do. You remove as much as you can that's on the outside. And then this extra fat, you wanna remove that as well. And then we're just going to trim off excess skin here just because when we go to fry it, the, the skin that hangs over will touch the marinade and then burn around the edges. So just want to make a nice neat piece. You can save that and fry it up into crispy duck skin as well. You don't have to throw that away. And that's it. And now on the other side, I'm going to score the skin. Break the skin open. Don't get to the meat. Your goal here is to open it up so that the fat can render out more easily and I'm doing small small scores here because then the score marks that's where I'm gonna slice my duck then it's a lot easier for me I don't have to slice through cooked crispy skin okay that's good so now I'm gonna make the dry wrap for the meat really really simple I've got some brown sugar here I'm using light brown sugar but you can do dark brown sugar and some salt and then this is the key important ingredient here is five spice powder. It's a mixture of different spices. I do have a recipe for it if you wanna make it at home or you can just buy five spice powder from the store. Um, and I'm also gonna add some ginger powder. You can use grated ginger, but then I find keeping this dry makes it easier to apply. If you use grated ginger, then it becomes sort of a wet paste and it's a little more tricky to apply, but still works all the same. And try your best to not get this rub on the skin just because there is sugar in it and then we're going to sear the skin and so the sugar will burn. I always manage to get some on the skin, so but that's okay. Just do your best. If you were to do a whole duck, you would just rub this rub, rub this rub, into the cavity of the duck. And then with a little bit that I have left here, I'm going to just marinate my tender so I can snack on them later. Again, trying to not contaminate my skin. So we'll rest this up here for now. I'm gonna flip these. Whoop. So you will notice that most Chinese barbecue duck will have a red tint to the skin and that is nothing mysterious other than just some red food coloring. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but for the sake of recreating the look, I'm gonna add some, so I just have just a teaspoon of water and I'm just gonna do a couple of drops of red food coloring. And I'm also just gonna add a touch of salt to season the skin. You don't have to, I've done it with and without, but now that I remember, why not? So I'm gonna stir this until the salt is dissolved and we'll brush this on the duck skin. And you can add as much of the color as you like if you want a more intense red. Now we're gonna let this marinate for at least 45 minutes uncovered because I want the skin to dry as much as possible. So if you're just gonna do it for, for 45 minutes, put a fan to it, leave it outside, totally fine. Or if you wanna do it for up to a whole day, put it in the fridge, um, don't cover it. So the more the skin dries, the crispier they will become when we go to cook it. 
So while we wait, we're gonna make the duck gravy, which is what makes this Thai style, because if you go to a Chinese restaurant here, their duck doesn't come with this gravy, and I'm telling you this, you're gonna wanna put it on everything, it's so delicious. And you can make it separately and put it on other meats too if you want. Okay, so we're gonna start with our sam gle, or three friends, which are white peppercorns, garlic, and cilantro stems, as you've seen me make before. So peppercorns first. If you're making this for kids, I would cut the amount of pepper by about half. I like it a little peppery, but it might be a little too spicy. And then garlic, cilantro stems, and we're also going to add some ginger, some chopped ginger. This is the Chinese part of this recipe. Get that into a paste. Okay, so now that it's a fine paste, I'm going to add Another important ingredient here, which is tau jiao or fermented soybean paste um, that we use in Thai cuisine. If you don't have this, you can also use miso. Use half the amount and add a little extra water. And then because tau jiao has some whole soybeans in it, I'm going to mash it. You can also use the Korean fermented soybean paste as well as a substitute. Five spice powder, again, very, very important ingredient. All right, to the pot. So I'm going to saute the paste that we just made with a little bit of oil here. Okay. So keep sauteing that on low heat until it sort of dries up, thickens a little bit, starts to smell really good. Now it's really aromatic, it's dried up. I'm going to deglaze with some chicken stock. And for some richness, coconut milk. Oh no, what's this doing up here? Oop. I'm gonna season it with some soy sauce. And now I'm gonna switch weapon to a whisk so I can break up all the lumps to a mini whisk. And now for a nice color, I'm gonna add some black soy sauce. You can also do dark soy sauce and you can just adjust the color to taste. It can be a little darker, a little lighter, up to you and one of the most important ingredients is honey because this is going to be sort of a salty, sweet gravy and duck and honey. Flavor match made in heaven. Now I'm going to let that simmer for about five minutes, let the flavors mingle and marry, and then we will do our final adjustment. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I did add a little extra black soy sauce to adjust the color a little bit. It's totally up to you. I'm going to turn this off and add some toasted white sesame seeds. And I'm going to do final taste testing. Oh, by the way, I did crush the sesame seeds uh, just gently in the mortar and pestle just to break up the aroma, release the aroma a little bit. Perfect. Yes, that is exactly, exactly where I want it. All right, so the gravy is done. You can keep this in the fridge. It'll last like a couple of weeks, easy. Now let's fry up the duck. So with the duck, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry off the marinade from the bottom side of the meat. So I'll pick that up and put it on this paper towel here. And again, you wanna be really careful not to let the marinade touch the skin. Oh, don't forget. I just forgot, I put the tender back here. I need to take that out. There you go. Plop that there. Now we're gonna sear the duck before we roast them. I'm gonna turn the heat on just medium. You don't wanna go super high because you wanna give the duck skin time to render out the fat and we're just gonna sear the skin at this point. No oil needed. There's gonna be so much duck fat coming out of the skin. You will have oil in no time and it doesn't need to sizzle. Again, we don't wanna burn the skin before the fat has time to render. That's why we're not doing high heat searing here. There we go, and slowly you'll start to hear that sizzling. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of duck fat now. What I'm gonna do, actually, it's not done yet, but I'm gonna just pour off this fat and keep it so that I can use it for cooking later on. And if I let it sort of hang out, it might eventually burn. Carefully pour it into a bowl without losing my duck. Ah! Risky here. So with the food coloring, it's really hard to tell what color the skin actually is, but I'm just going by something like that. Okay, the skin is now clearly thinner. It has lost a lot of fat. 
I'm done with that and I'm going to transfer it onto my baking sheet which I've lined with foil for easier cleaning. And see, see what I was talking about, about the edges catching the marinade and then burning? Like, it's totally fine. It's charred, it's character, but try not to get that like all over the skin. Okay, so this is gonna go now into a 400 degree oven. I like it medium doneness, so I like to do it at about 12 minutes. In Asia, they always do duck well done, so that you might need to do 15 to 18 minutes, depending on the size. Um, but it's up to you at this point. You can cook it super rare if you like it that way. But I'm gonna do 12 minutes. Woohoo! So one piece of my duck is significantly larger than the other, so I think I might have to pull one and then put the other one back in. So I'm just going to take temperature of the little one for now. I'm at 135, which is perfect! That's exactly what I want. 135 will get you about medium. This one's still 125, so I'm going to put the big one back in and pull the little one out onto something. Before you cut into the duck, let it rest for at least, I like to do 10 minutes, but even if you rush, five minutes will be fine. But otherwise you cut it and if the meat is still piping hot, it'll push out all the juices and the meat will be dry, okay? So let's see what this duck, oh my God, look at that perfect pinkness, which is by the way, so un-Asian of me to cook duck to pinkness, but it's what I prefer, so that's what we're gonna do. And then those score marks that we made serves perfectly as where you will cut and you will notice that the score marks are now about half the width as they were when we originally scored it so keep that in mind too oh so good look at that perfect pinkness super juicy super moist I'm gonna pop that onto my serving plate arrange it let's do let's do two rows we're going to then pour the gravy all over it. And you can pour it over or pour it around here. You can look at it this way, much nicer. What I actually like to do is I douse the gravy all over it. And then as it sits, it kind of absorbs that flavor even more and it becomes more delicious. Some nice hot jasmine rice. Gravy. Ah, that's five spice powder aroma and the white pepper. That is what you're smelling up front. Mm. So good, I must take another bite right away. Mm. That duck is tender and juicy and flavorful, but really the sauce makes it. There's there's nothing quite like that. I can't describe it to you. It's just a really aromatic gravy that's a little rich from the coconut milk, a touch of kick from the, from the white pepper. You just have to try it. If you don't want to do duck, make the sauce and put it on chicken. Like, I don't care. Make the sauce and put it on something. So I hope you give this a try. The recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss a recipe like this. And click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time for your next edition.